sailing at a whopping three knots right now, trying to fish very unsuccessfully because we're going so slow. But it's beautiful, there's no waves. It's a nice sunny day. Really, you can't ask for much more. We're just heading from Howell K over to right by Crab K, Rat K, and Manjack K. So it's all right in that little area. There's a anchorage. I think it's technically on Manjack, but it's right beside the Rat K, which is this little island, and also right beside Crab K, which is a marine reserve. So we're going to do a bit of a dinghy adventure over there. That should be really cool because there's like mangroves that kind of, apparently it's like a mangrove maze in there. And then depending on if we run out of water because we have one five gallon jug and a questionable amount of water in our tank, I'd like to ideally stay here one more day so that we can go to the reef which is on the west side of Manjack, just outside of the marine reserve which is part of Crab K. And because normally on the outsides of the marine reserves, because there's nobody allowed to fish in the marine reserves, it tends to be a little more fishy. So that'd be really cool. Worst case, we can always come back because it's like, I don't know, maybe five uh, nautical miles to Turtle Cay where we're going to get water a little more south of Manjack. So it's going to be a fun little time. So far, the Abacos is really nice. It's a, it's a good place to be. The clarity is a little bit off, though. I definitely... I don't know if it's just this year, the way the weather we've been getting, but the visibility is definitely not as good as the Exumas was. Wonderful meal, some plantain, some fresh bread that's been toasted, a little bit of cheese, and some over easy eggs. Delicious. Were you hooked? Pretty sure, yeah. It's hard to tell, but uh, there's not much wind anyway, so just the weight of the anchor will hold us. Nice anchorage. Really busy though, compared to any other place we've been. But it should be a nice spot to hang out. We found this cute little art trail and people can apparently add art all along it. There's so many cool little things. It's beautiful, but I should have brought some shoes. Look at the mosquito head. Pretty cool. Wilson! In the eye. It's impressive to see what cruisers have done with simple trash lying on the beaches creating real pieces of art. This time we really need to step up our game and, and come up with something a little more original to make for it. Santa Claus in the Bahamas. Oh, the trail is bigger than I thought. What did you find over there? <laughs> Friends, a big wasp thingy with a massive eyeball. <sighs> People went all out. Super cool. The minions, banana, and we are officially going up. 
Well, we came for the coconuts, but stayed for the art. Super cool trail. It's a really long trail. I wasn't expecting such a long trail. And there's a decent amount of artwork out here. I know. I have no idea. I thought it was a tiny trail. We then returned to the beach where Corey decided to climb up the coconut trees to get us some coconuts. I was really excited to quench my thirst. Coconuts have become a version of fear while pregnant. Corey's upgraded to a way higher tree. This little stingray came up to visit us. She seemed really curious. And with such a warm day, she made us want to go in the water too. At low tide, the mangrove in between Manjack and Crab Cave becomes extremely shallow. This is what happens when a man is desperate to go get lobsters before the season ends. Only two days to go. Good thing it wasn't low tide quite yet. And we could still pull the dinghy across. So we found a ledge. Okay, so no lobster here. So we drove further north along the Atlantic side of Manjack Cay and found a nice little area to drop anchor. We started poking our heads around. Lobsters later, and with a really calm sea state, we decided to go back to check the outer reef along with our friend Andy. I was blown away instantly. There were so many corals, great visibility, and massive caves and arches to dive under. A free diving paradise. It really made you feel so small.
We carefully made our way across to the shallow sections of the coral. Navigating the shallow areas while kicking away and trying not to scratch our bellies on the coral was really cool. It all paid off once we reached the other side. Felt just like the drop off from Finding Nemo. We were in water heaven. I've never done anything like this. This is just. Wow! It's unbelievable! We went to the outer reef of Manjake and... Wow! It's just blowing my mind, like, there's so many caverns, like, huge! Like, we can be tons of people in those caverns and we can swim through. I've seen fish that I've never seen that big, like, there was a pair of fish, which was a good, like, four feet plus, like, the thing was massive! Huge NASA grouper, huge black market, huge, I don't know what kind of fish, like they're all like in the four footers kind of range almost, like they, whoa, I would never shoot anything like this, it would take me for a ride, and my breath holding is not as good, breathing for two turns out is a little bit more challenging. So now Corey and Andy are still in the water, meanwhile, um, Recording the dinghy, trying to warm up a little bit, catch my breath, and just absorb everything I've been seeing. Like, it's just, oh, like, I love this. This is unbelievable. When the tide is high, there are a lot of little creeks all over the mangroves that can be explored by dinghy, kayak, or paddleboard. So we took off on Scobie. We quickly veered away into a narrow pathway. There were turtles everywhere! Little zoomies taking off so quickly that we could barely capture them on film.
We eventually left the narrow creeks for the main big one to look for our buddy boats. It's tricky to explain where you are over a radio. Mangroves are very challenging environments. Plants need to be able to tolerate broad changes in temperature, salinity, and moisture. The roots have an ultra-filtration mechanism which helps the shrubs get rid of the salt. And since they don't get much fresh water, they limit their losses through their leaves. They even orient their leaves to avoid the strong midday sun. Mangroves are great and so important in so many ways. They support sustainable coastal and marine ecosystems. They even protect areas from extreme weather events like tsunamis, storm surge, and erosion. They also serve as a nursery for many animals. It gives shelter to young sharks and turtles. Another neat fact is that mangrove forests also remove carbon from the atmosphere and store it. Mangrove seeds germinate while still attached to the parent tree and when it's mature, it drops into the water. They can drift away and be dormant for over a year before finding a suitable environment to grow in. Another day in paradise, ending with coconuts, beautiful sunset, warmth. Don't really know what I can ask for more. <laughs> and it's kind of nice in the Bahamas. You get, like, especially now that there, this is the most sailboats or boats in general that we've had in an anchorage. You can hear people with their conks. After enjoying our coconut drinks, we have all the coconut husk, not husk, coconut flesh, meat. Yeah. meat. And now we have coconut soup! Alex forgot to film some of the process, but we got some goodies in here already. What'd you put in there? A little curry paste. And I've also added some um, diced tomatoes. And then those uh, potatoes, sweet potatoes that you were yes. cutting up. Awesome. And a little bit of lime juice. Yum. And then we also have the white market that Corey caught the other day. Should be delicious. Oh, I'm excited. Should be delicious. Mm. Really good. I guess at high tide it would be a little bit more in the water. But yeah, you really don't swim through this right now. This was not the most exciting wreck to swim around. But when the tide is too low to go across to the Atlantic side, and you don't want to dingy all the way around Crab Cay, it's a perfect activity to do. how big this guy is. He's huge. She's shallow. Alex is pulling us along. Good. It's crazy. We could drive through all of this. Having fun? 
I keep having stuff getting stuck in my kidney sandals. But we're getting to the deeper. It's crazy how shallow it gets in between crab key and manchak key. The underwater world was so amazing. While backpacking around the world, we've seen so many reefs with bleached or dead coral. But it seems like the Bahamas reefs are very healthy in general. There's such an abundance of coral in all kinds of colors. And the fish and the sea life diversity here was so incredible. Green turtles were everywhere. We found a few puffer fish. Even some black death brief sharks who were very curious. Maybe this was the same spotted eagle ray as the one from yesterday. this little trumpet fish. A little eel was defending its home. We almost missed the small yellow ray buried in sand. To be honest, there were so many fish that I'd be at it all day. Plus, I don't really know all of their names. I swam back to this beach, meanwhile Cory kept on spearfishing. I was a little cold, and we were having a potluck on the beach soon, so I lit a little fire. The wind made it challenging, but I was hoping to cook whatever Cory would bring back onto it. Hello! What you got? We got some lobsters! Nice! One second. Oh, they're beautiful. This guy. And then we got... Hey, come here. Come here, you. Oh, wow! Come here, you. Stop being stubborn. <laughs> come here. Come He's here. huge! <laughs> We're having a feast! Yeah. <laughs> hey? You get stunned? Um, you can probably see the shallow spot where it's breaking, so yeah, just go like kind of in the middle of the tube. Oh, 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 oh. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, delicious! <laughs> We had a bunch of friends from the other sailboats meet us on the beach. Everyone brought a different dish, which made for an awesome potluck in paradise, thanks to all of our friends that came. Wow, we're having a feast! How's life? Oh, awesome! Potluck on the beach, impromptu, can't go wrong! Woo!
Well, we got Jacob here with his uh, Viking beard, his little mustache. He's gonna go over in the art place and got our logo started here. Gotta sign our stuff, so figure might as well sign it while they intrepid. And yeah, it's gonna be my little uh, art contribution to the art trail over there. We contributed to the art trail, both directions. Wildly intrepid. We'll be heading to Green Turtle Cay tomorrow. <laughs>